Good afternoon, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference between a nerve problem and a blood vessel problem. A lot of times it can be difficult when a patient comes in and they have pain that's running down into their legs. Um, sometimes it could be numbness, tingling, weakness, um, but typically discerning whether it's a blood problem, flow problem, or a nerve problem can be a little challenging. Uh, Typically, when it's a nerve problem, we call this neurogenic claudication. What happens is, is something closes in on a nerve as it exits the spine. It could be a disc, um, it could be spinal stenosis where the canal is narrowing, and it can obstruct some of that nerve tissue and cause obstruction um, of the actual blood and oxygen through that nerve down into the leg. Uh, and it can cause symptoms of radiating pain in the back and the leg. It can cause numbness and tingling and go all the way down to the toes. Um, typically, this is what we consider a neurogenic claudication um, or aka spinal stenosis tip most commonly. Um, and the other type of condition could be uh, peripheral vascular disease. With peripheral vascular disease, what's happening is actually the blood vessels and spasm uh, and it affects either the, the artery, the vein, or the lymphatic vessel you know, outside the heart. And it's a more of a progressive degenerative problem where it starts to close in and obstructs the blood flow. Um, this is more of uh, a problem with the actual blood flow. Um, but the symptoms can be very similar. Uh, so it's important that you get the right test and the right diagnosis. And of course, that's gonna lead you to the right treatment. Um, most commonly, we go on the patient symptoms. Typically when they have more pain into the calf, when they walk, uh, generally speaking, that is more of a blood flow problem, but we would like to further evaluate with uh, more diagnostic testing. Um, typically standing can accelerate the pain um, in the case of uh, a spinal stenosis or neurogenic claudication, and certain movements like bending forward or movements of the spine can actually relieve the pain, or even sitting can relieve the pain. Um, in this case, uh, we can kind of say maybe it's a disc issue or something else going on in the spine. Uh, so those are generally the, 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 the way we diagnose as far as that, but there's other orthopedic tests we can do and neurological tests to see if there is uh, damage to the nerve. But ultimately, um, if the patient's not getting better or responsive to treatment, then we want to do further testing like an MRI, a Doppler exam, to see if there's anything seriously going on with the blood vessels or with the nerve tissue, and then we can get the appropriate treatment. Either way, you're in good hands if you come here so we can uh, differentiate, diagnose uh, whether it's a blood flow or a nerve problem. But just a little food for thought, if you have those types of symptoms, uh, it could be one of those two. Uh, most commonly in our office, uh, we're dealing with pain and neuro neurogenic problems and nerve-related problems uh, due to you know, a muscle, disc, a joint problem, uh, and we can help that patient out or refer them to the right doctor for their appropriate treatment. Uh, hopefully this answers some of those questions. I know it's a bit confusing. If you have any further questions, just give us, give us a call, shoot us a message. We're here and always happy to help. If you liked the video, please like. We are grateful for all the support that we do get on social media and all the comments and questions we get daily from you folks. Uh, hopefully everyone has a great day. It's beautiful outside. It's going to be another great day tomorrow. Enjoy. We'll talk to you soon.